Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's take the opportunity to be in God's presence once again. And so we're going to pray at this time, giving him thanks. Thank you, dear Father, for protecting us throughout the night, allowing us to see the morning light once again. Be with us this morning and take charge of our morning's devotion. In Jesus' name, amen. So we are looking at Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, which says, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Now we are to give our entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. You see, this, this sounds so simple, but it goes against the grain of human nature, against the strong desire to feel in control. You see, mankind longs to be able to forecast the future, and some people peddle their exp expertise in this area to make money. But the future belongs to me. That is what God is saying. So you don't need to worry about it. Try not to think about something is usually ineffective and counterproductive. Uh, the effort to stop thinking about the matter keeps you chained to those thoughts. However, you can break free by focusing your attention on me and on what I'm doing in your life. I am your living savior and I'm always doing new things. What keeps most people chained to future thoughts is their fear of what tomorrow may bring, wondering whether they will be able to cope with it. But remember, this, I will help you deal with whatever things come up when the time comes. What are your fears about tomorrow? Acknowledge them and then break free by focusing on me and the new things I am doing in your life. So God is encouraging you not to worry about tomorrow. Instead, whatever fears or soul that you may have, you can break free, free from them by focusing on what God has been doing and can do for you. Merciful Father, God of love, we thank you. We thank you for loving us and caring for us. We thank you for all that you have done for us. We ask that you can help us to continue to believe and trust in you, knowing that you have told us in your words not to be troubled about tomorrow. We thank you. For just being there for us in Jesus' name. With thanks we pray. Amen.